Doug Maggie. To Brandon Fletch, just what Will did for you tonight, stepping up when you know Daniel went out, and just kind of what you see out of Will tonight. Yeah, um, I think that's what we expect from Will. Um, I mean, he's been here for three years now, along with us, and he understands uh, what it takes to next man hurt when a guy gets hurt that he's next man up and I think he did a great job coming in and being that center that we needed um obviously Daniel going down it sucks but I mean it's part of sports and it happens and he came in ready to play well you talked last year about how much it helped playing against Zach every day and it helps playing with Trey Daniel Caleb and sure along the line just kind of tell me about the mentality when you come in there and how that helps you that you guys have all you know, Coach Painter talked yesterday that nobody's really separated themselves. You're, you've got competitive guys each day in practice going head to head against you. Yeah, it, it's overall a great environment, and I think it shows our culture really well. Like everybody, every day in practice is just doing whatever they can to step up and be competitive, um, pushing each other first and foremost. Um, and I think that's yeah, we've got a great environment, and the whole team is full of guys that strive to. Not want to push themselves, but everybody around them every single day. Fletcher, they, they shot under 30% tonight. You guys turned them over, I think, eight times in the first half. Was this closer to what you guys want to be defensively? What did you see tonight that was maybe a step forward there? Yeah, we talked about getting better every day, whether it's practice, whether it's a game. And uh, watching the film from last game, obviously the defense wasn't up to par. And uh, tonight we just want to get better. We want to make steps in the right direction. I thought we did that. Uh, I thought our on ball pressure was better. Our we call it jamming, our picking up full court was better. And then we got to do better rebounding. We gave up too many rebounds. So every single game, every single practice, you can see something you can work on. Uh, uh, Fletcher, just um, things bogged down a little bit there offensively late in the first half. But then you kind of cracked it right open there to start the second half. What were the priorities to get into that zone there to start the second half? Yeah, obviously that's not something you practice all summer. It's, it's a different zone, it's a matchup zone. So you're running man stuff and zone stuff to see what you can do to beat it. So sometimes you get stagnant, you just gotta get catches and keep having cutters. And um, sometimes whether it's Braden with it or Braden's out, we gotta have other guys uh, moving the ball and just making the right plays to ultimately get the shot we want. Well, what does what does these 27, 27 minutes mean for your confidence and what you can do maybe uh, in the future here? Well, yeah, obviously it helps confidence wise, but it doesn't really change that much because yeah, all of the guys here are like Braden said, it's a next man up mentality. Whenever you get a chance, you just try to do and be as effective as you can with the minutes you get. So, but it was nice getting out there. Um, I'm touching the floor a little bit more. Uh, helped me get in rhythm a little bit more, especially uh, on the free throw line as well, since I struggled with that last game. Will, in the off season, you went home, right? At one point, and you, you played in like a three on three or something like that. Can you just kind of elaborate on what that was and maybe how it was different and, and, and you brought whatever you brought back from that with you to Purdue? Yeah, so it's like, 3x3 FIBA, uh, it's a di different type of play, uh, I'd say it's way quicker um, and it's it's almost like playing street ball with your buddies but you, at that tournament it was a little bit more competitive, good competition so it's it helped me especially just like trying to go react instinctively in both defensively and offensively since everything is just going so fast uh, but it was really fun most of all I have to say. Braden, um, just with Arizona, what did you think of it? Um, you know, were you happy with the way you guys were able to break that down? Yeah, I mean, we just worked on our man plays versus, I mean, there's not a whole lot you can do. I and mean, we obviously, like Flush said, we don't see it often. So seeing something different like that um, definitely makes us just think. And we tried out um, through our two practices and tried zone sets against it. And we tried man, and man worked most. And I think that's what we just stuck with. And just passing the ball, getting out of our hands and getting it to shooters. Seemed like there were some deflections tonight. Um, do you think they were kind of anticipating you guys where you guys wanted to go with it, or for why was that maybe? Yeah, I mean, I think I mean they're a good team and they have very athletic players, good players, and I think just us just freezing hands a little bit better with pass fakes, shot fakes, whatever it is. And personally, that was my first two. I think I should have just bounce past and we got dunked. So it's just little mistakes like that. But Jason. 
Fletcher, Matt talked a lot this week about how you guys need to communicate more, have a little more energy towards each other. Did you feel an improvement in the second game of the season? Yeah, I definitely thought so. Uh, he kind of ripped us a little bit, but it's simple stuff. It's just talking to one another. We talk off the floor, so we can talk on the floor. And it's, he always says, um, if you're doing it, you're saying it. So just making sure we're all being positive with each other, make or miss shots. Um, just keep talking to each other and ultimately it leads to success. So we got to realize that and keep doing it every single game, not just after he gets on us. Anything else? Two more here. Pleasure. At this point, do you think you've earned that 30 foot uh, heat check? Uh, I thought it was good, but yeah, I made a couple. If I make them in practice and when I work out. So if he doesn't want me to shoot them, he can tell me not to. <laughs> good. All right, thanks, guys.